can see over here, we've got our good old fashioned dingo, the axial dingo, set up and ready to go on our measurement device. This is very scientific, so be prepared to be amazed. So what we're gonna be looking for, is we're gonna make sure as we lift up our slide, we're gonna be looking for the rear wheel to be coming off the ground. As soon as the rear wheel starts to come off the ground, that's when we're gonna call it. All right, here we go. See how high we can get this puppy before that rear tire starts to lift up. All right, we are at one inch. And we're passing two inches. Coming up to three. And looks like we're going to lock it in right about going to say three and three quarters inches for the dingo. We're going up one inch, two inches, three inches. Four inches. And, oh, it came off a little bit. Let's back it down. So, before that rear tire lifts up, we're looking at about, gonna say four and a quarter inches. We're gonna start with 40 degrees. Um, we're going to run each truck up and then we're going to increase the angle until we can no longer climb that angle. Now, just to familiarize yourself, you can see right here we have our protractor. That's going to tell us what our angle is. You can see we're starting at 40 degrees. All right. So, and also here we have this rubber tray liner. Gives awesome st uh, traction for the wheels stretched across just a regular uh, piece of quarter or three quarter inch plywood. So without further ado, we're gonna start with the ascender at 40 degrees. Ascender at 40 degrees, climbs like a champ. We've got our dingo at 40 degrees. We've got the ascender at 45 degrees. We got the dingo at 45 degrees. We've got the ascender at 50 degrees. Let's see how it holds up. And there we go, you see it? We got it climbing at 50 degrees, but that right front wheel lifting off the ground pretty good. Dingo at 50 degrees. Let's see if we got the same thing happening. And look at it, that front wheel starting to lift up. Ascender, 53 degrees. Oh, and look at it go, 53 degrees. It's lifting pretty high, but it's making it. Check that out. That is insane, 53 degrees. And look at it go. All right, this is where we're going to make it or break it. We've got the ascender at 55 degrees. Not so sure it's going to make it, but here we go. Oh, and it goes over. Check that out. Looks like around 53 is about the max you're going to get. Give it one more fair shot just to make sure. Yeah. 55 degrees is definitely a no-go. We go with the dingo, 55 degrees, let's see how it goes. Oh, I don't know guys. Let's give it another fair shot. Smooth, easy action on the trigger. Oh, look at it go, look at it go.
Dominic? Yep. Dominic is my trusty assistant. He will be helping me today do our maneuver portion of the Axial versus Viterra. Uh-huh. We're going to do our cars. Let's yes. See. We're going to be taking the cars over the course that I have designed to show a good bit of flexibility. Flexibility, weird. Side hilling. Side hilling. Maneuverability. Maneuver. And a little bit of climbability. Is little climbability gonna be? All right. So first thing we're gonna do is give you a quick run through of the course, mm -hmm. so you can see what we're gonna be doing. Our gates are 12 inches apart. I'm gonna come into first a bit of a tight turn here. Cut it hard for our first breakover. Oh, and I hit the gate. There we go. Moving into our side hill with a slight climb. A sharp 90 degree turn down. Gonna come on out and do a quick turnaround. And another uphill with another sharp turn. Too sharp for that truck. And climb the stairs. Yep, we're climbing up the stairs. And now we're gonna do a little bit of flexing. There we go. Turn around, come back the other way. No, well, wasn't supposed to run over that gate, but. And through the finish line.
right, for the maneuver portion, I'm gonna give the Axial and the Viterra a tie. Now here's why. One is the wheelbase, two, the diameter of the tires, and three, the differing in the amount of steering and flex, okay? So what I noticed was, with the axials, with less steering, you have to pick your lines more precisely with less time to be able to actually maneuver. So if you screw up the first time, you're probably gonna have to back up and take it again. Whereas with the ascender, you can do more adjustments throughout it. Now, with that said, the differing wheelbases aided the axial in some portions where it was a detriment to the, the Viterra at other portions. Um, another thing was your flex. There's one portion on this course where the flex allowed the Viterra to go smoothly through it, where the axial, I had to run three times, only made it through that portion without rolling to the side once, without hitting the gates. So, with that said, Tip test underway, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, 25 degrees, 30 degrees, 35 degrees, 40 degrees, and the back end starting to come off. And we're right about 40 degrees. Tip test underway, starting at 10 degrees. 15 degrees. 20 degrees. 25 degrees. 30 degrees. 35 degrees. 40 degrees. And again, right there at 40 degrees. The last test we're gonna run is gonna be for the skid plate clearance and the ready to run weight of the rig. So let's see who comes out on top there. All right, the dingo goes on the scale. Let's see how much she weighs. Looks like she's gonna come in right around six pounds and we'll give it a one ounce since my scale doesn't seem to want to make up its mind. Six pounds, one ounce. All right, and for the ascender, looks like he's going to be coming in at six pounds, three and a half ounces. Looks like it likes that weight. So six pounds, three and a half ounces. All right, for the last test, we're going to take this 2x3, fully compress the shocks of the truck, let it rise, and then try and slide it under the skid. All right, here we go. Here is the ascender, fully compressed, let it rise, and sliding the block looks like it gives just slight resistance as it goes underneath. Now, moving on to the dingo. We are going to fully compress, let it rise, and slide a slight bit more resistance. After looking at all the stats from the tests that we ran, my final conclusion is whether you go with your Axial or whether you go with your Viterra, they are both excellent starting platforms with their own unique qualities. So, I'm not going to really say one beat the other, but hey, if you want to get into crawling, pick one up, or pick one up, or pick them both up for that matter. Just have fun. That's what it's all about. Thank you for watching.